Hey guys, welcome to Optic Grey Wallets, Mike. Dan here. We did a video a bit back exploring all the things that Asians love, and we felt we left a few things out. Yeah, because there are so many things that we all love, and it's hard to fit them all into a single video. So, here are more things that all Asians love. You guys remember when we talked about the love of the rice cooker? Well, what do you think that cooks? Rice? Who doesn't love rice? That's like the king of all foods for Asians. You know why I love rice? Uh, let me ask you something. How do you eat saucy Asian dishes without rice? Like uh, Korean tofu soup or double cooked pork or mapa tofu? Like how do you eat those dishes without rice? They would be like completely unbalanced. Exactly. Rice is like the must-have partner in a marriage. You just gotta have it. A lot of my Caucasian friends, they'd be like, yo, bro, do you eat rice every day? I'm like, yeah, like three, four times a day. You know what's funny is that rice in the U.S. is considered like a bad carb and people like don't eat it because it's supposed to make you fat. But I think us as Asians, we develop a tolerance to that because, you know, we eat rice like multiple times a day and, uh, we're fine. You can make out a rice that all Asians also love. What's that? Kanji. Yes, sir. And there's a great war slash debate going on about kanji in China because, you know, uh, people from southern China, they like kanji more savory with meat and thousand year old eggs. People in northern China, we like kanji with uh, sweet things like dates and stuff like that, which is much better. It's kind of weird. All right, Team Mike, Team Dan, which kind of kanji do you like better? I bet you don't even like kanji with a thousand-year-old egg. I don't. That's like kanji should not be salty. Kanji should be sweet. Number two, noodles. In the last video, we talked about ramen. Right. But there's actually a whole big category of noodles out there. Right. Ramen's, I, ramen's just one kind. Ramen's just like one particular section. It's a great exactly. section, but the noodles are, are widespread. Think about how your life would be without things like hand pulled noodles, ah, uh, pho, ah, uh, you can also include ramen inside the noodle category, so that's gone too. What would your life be without all those things? And also, I want to say for a lot of Asians, every day uh, during meals is always a choice. Rice or noodles. Rice or noodles. And sometimes buns. Which brings us to the next one. Number three, buns. When I think of buns here in the US, usually a uh, hairstyle, particular hairstyle comes to mind. Yeah, but to Asians, we think about things like uh, breakfast sweet buns, savory roast pork cha shell buns, thousand layer buns, and the list just goes on and on. You know that soup dumpling that we all love so much? That's basically uh, a bun. Yeah, it's called xiao long bao, which is a bun. And there are so many more awesome buns that you may never have heard of. I'm from Northern China and uh, we specialize in buns. Not the hairstyle, again, the food, the more important one. Probably one of the best tasting buns with the strangest name is a famous Chinese pork bun called Gobuli Baozi. Also, uh, dog won't even look at it bun. Long story, but tasty bun. So we talked a lot about food because Asians love food, but now let's get to something besides food that all Asians love. And one of those things is bargaining. Oh, Asians love to get a good bargain. And so do everyone, I get that. But Asians just want to bargain for the sake of bargaining sometimes. Yeah, even if the seller is selling at a super low price, Asians still want to get a lower price. My parents even tried to bargain at like Walmarts. I remember when we were buying something at Walmart once when I was a kid, I think a pen or something, uh, and the cashiers ran it up, let's say it was like 20 bucks or something. And my parents were like, oh, this pen no good. Oh, too light. Oh, I gave you $10. And the Walmart people just looking at us like, who are you? Yeah, and sometimes when the parents' English is not very good, I always feel like the kids get caught up in the middle. Yeah. We're like the mediators. And another thing about bargaining, we're not saying that it's bad. It's yes. just something that all Asians do. Yes. And I used to work in retail all of my life in restaurants, and not to stereotype, but around the holiday time, it's always like Asians coming in and there's already a 50% off sale, and they're like, can I get another 20 off? And I'm like, no! <laughs> It's like, it already, you already get 50 off, but to them it's like, hey, can't hurt to ask. I like that idea. Yeah, it's all, they always say things like, ah, 
Uh, help me a little. Help me a little. Yeah, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Number five, casino. Oh yeah. Asians love casinos. We live in New York City, and there are literally companies that make money by transporting Asians That's to casinos. So Forget about even Vegas. If you even go to the local ones, like Resorts World Casino at JFK Airport, I mean, it's like 80% Asians. Am I right? Yeah. And I got a funny story about a Chinese person in Vegas once. So I was once at JFK. The airport. The airport. And I was boarding a flight. And there was a Chinese guy who was in the counter next to me. And this is the funniest way I ever heard someone say the words Las Vegas in my life. So he goes up to the counter and the uh, flight it's, or in the flight people were like, oh, so where are you going? And he's like, Las Vegas. <laughs> When's our next trip to Vegas? Uh, let's go next spring. And me and Dan, we don't gamble or drink. We just go to Vegas and we eat at the buffets. If you want to check out my favorite buffet in Vegas, click on this video on the screen. It's awesome. Check it out. Number six, tea. I love tea. And I can say that I am a true connoisseur of the Camellia sinensis. You are. I and I love tea too, especially because I don't drink coffee. So every time I go to a coffee shop, I can't really get coffee. I get tea. Anyways, we definitely have to do a video all about tea because there's like so many legends and interesting stories. Number seven, Asians love chopsticks. You know, like the greatest rivalries of mankind, soda versus pop, Red Sox versus Yankees, and chopsticks versus forks. I'm gonna say something that will settle that debate right now. And uh, this is for all you out there who ever get into this debate about which is better, chopsticks or forks. So if you ever get into that situation again, just use this one line and you will achieve complete victory. Here it is. The Chinese also invented the fork and we chose to use chopsticks. That's right, bone forks have been discovered at multiple burial sites dating from the Xia Dynasty. Europeans didn't start using the forks until roughly 4,000 years later. You know how we love all Asian food? Sure. All right, one gripe I have to pick is uh, in Thai restaurants? Yeah. Chopsticks are not a default. Okay. You realize that? I don't eat at that many Thai restaurants, but every time I went there, you're right, you have I have to, to ask. ask for chopsticks. What's up? Because I think mostly, maybe like the restaurants we go to, more uh, Westerners go in. I know, but come on! See, at my buffet restaurant, when we opened it, we didn't have chopsticks either, unless people asked. Are you kidding? No, because then people are like, how do we use it? Can you show us this live? Oh, that's true, that's true. Number eight, all Asians love Asian dramas and Asian pop. Whether it's K-dramas, C-dramas, J-dramas, Taiwanese dramas, whatever, Asians love their dramas. I was literally addicted to Taiwanese dramas for the longest time because, you know, I'm a sap and most of the Taiwanese dramas are so over the board sappy. I mean, they're so sappy, sap was basically flowing out of my computer screen. Asians also love their pop music too. I think right now K-pop is obviously the most popular and people don't even need to understand the language to love the music. I'm actually super into Chinese and Taiwanese pop music. Once again, the sap factor. Click on the screen to check out my list of the cheesiest Chinese songs ever. But you like older Chinese songs, because all the new stuff you don't like. Eh, I don't really listen to a lot of the newer stuff, like Jay Chow and stuff like that. Yeah. I like I like Super Sad. In addition to popular things, Asians love modifying their cars. Or car mods. The stereotype is true. Fast and Furious, Asians love to modify cars, and it's never like an already awesome car. It's always like a Honda Civic. And you know why that is though? Yeah. The Honda Civic is an Asian car. You know why that is? Because it has the ability to be modified, which is fully supported actually by Honda. Also because it's a bargain car. I've had cousins, friends, and they love just like putting in this and that and this. And I'm just like, that's cool. All right, let me ask you this. Yeah. What kind of car do you have right now? I got a Honda Civic. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I had before that? A Honda Fit. Totally modifiable. Oh yeah, yeah. What do you have right now? I have a Toyota no, RAV4. You, you have a Honda Accord. Oh, I have two cars. Oh yeah. I still have my RAV4. Okay. Which I love. Number 10, Eagle and Tiger Bomb. This is something that every Asian family has. It is our answer to like Bengay. Yeah. The Eagle Bomb, which is that green, you know, liquidy, it's like smelly ointment. thing. Yeah, that's actually a cure all for every Chinese household at least. If I smell that thing, I just run. Really? Yeah, because my when I was little, like 
my grandparents, my parents would be like, anything I have, oh, I got a cold. Here's some Eagle Balm ointment, you know. Oh, my, my shoulder aches, or here's some toothaches. They made me put that in my mouth. Ooh. That Eagle Balm is literally anything you have. Headache, rub some Eagle yeah. Balm. I broke my arm, pour some Eagle Balm on it. Maybe use two bottles, let the bomb sink in. Mosquito bites, toothaches, headaches, pains. I mean, you name it. I don't even know what's in that. I think uh, we might have some runner-ups. Like what? Like uh, all Asians love slippers because they make you take, you know, every time you go to a, a, a household, you got to take off your shoes. But of yeah. course, you can't walk barefoot. So all Asian people have like a row of like massive amounts of slippers. Which uh, I always find kind of gross. Because it's like, other people's other slippers. People's slippers. They're like, they go, they go, oh, use this one. I'm like, yeah. who used that one? Yeah. We need to get some disposable slippers for Asian households. All Asians love basketball. Yeah. All Asians like, that's yeah. like a thing. We as a group theoretically suck the worst at basketball because yep. we're like the shortest people on the planet. Right. But we just love basketball. Anyways, guys, let us know if you liked that video and definitely leave your comments below and definitely give us some more that you think we might have left out. Also, follow us on Instagram. Also, check out the Double Chin Show. Thank you so much, everybody. See you later.